I've taken it all apart again, all the batteries are out, absolutely everything's out uh, because um, I'm going to have to fit a BMS, a proper BMS. This is the way that it's mounted at the moment. Uh, the three teensies, teensy LCs are in there. Move this rat's nest. Uh, that's the teensy 3.6. There is um, six opto isolators. If you can see them in there. Now the problem is because these have got voltage dividers on them, uh, they're actually drawing power from the balance lead all the time, and the highest voltage ones. Um, oh fuck it! I'll take it out and I'll show you. So I've taken this BMS out because. It was a project that didn't quite work and I'm going to have to use a proper full blown BMS um, display. Uh, the display basically gives you the voltage of each cell and it also gives you the voltage, the, the total voltage of all the packs and it also gives you the current that's uh, being fed into the charge which goes into that one there but the current resist the current sensor I've actually cut off at the moment because I'm using it for someone else and also the time as you, as you saw in the previous video um, and that's just to power it the downside is or well, the downsides are uh, number one it doesn't do any battery management it just monitors so it just gets the voltage of each of the three packs and then displays it on screen. As simple as that. It doesn't balance anything, it doesn't do anything basically. Now, on here, these are actually teen CLCs and the teen CLC on the back has got voltage dividers which what happens is, is that we'll say that that is cell number one um, and that is, it can go up to 4.2 volts. So the voltage divider drops it down to below 3.3 volts, which is what the TNC needs on the input or analog input. It won't go above 3.3 volts, otherwise, you'll fry it. It goes up in scale up to the 22 or 26 volts, whatever it is, onto that one. In actual fact, you're measuring between there and there. Uh, but the resolution is quite low at that voltage and I found out that it actually draws it doesn't draw a uniform enough power so on that one it will be drawing about I think it's about 1 milliamp but on that one it's drawing about 20 microamps so it's not actually drawing, it's not discharging the battery at the same rate, which means that I have to unplug it to balance it. Anyway, I can't use it. Because if I leave it for a week and then I try to charge it, the cells are going to be out of balance, and then as soon as I come home I'm going to have to recharge it, balancing them and everything else, and it's just too much messing around. I want a solution that's in, in place all the time and I don't have to worry about it, so I've got to put a BMS in. Now, I can't really explain very well about what this is and the reason, no, I can't explain why this is here. Uh, it's basically some opto isolators, there's six of them. Uh, you've got one for transmit and one for receive on each cell, on each pack. So that connects to that one, those two there, that one connects to the, you know. You know. And then this TNC here receives the data from the opto isolators. Just to briefly explain, when you're measuring a single pack, it's fine. So if you want to plug one of those in, you're fine doing that. But as soon as you wire them in series, that one is, we'll say, is that number one? I don't know. Whichever one number one is, we'll say that's number one. So that's pack number one. So that'll be reading um, the first cell, which is, you know, 4.2, going up to 26 volts. And then the next pack becomes 
20, uh, 32 volts or whatever, and then it goes up to 72 volts on the last pin. To do a voltage divider that reads the 72 volts means the resolution will be so low. Uh, I don't know what the calculation is, and I really don't care. I'm not going to bother working it out. The resolution will be so low that you couldn't. It's not measurable, and it's, it's certainly not. You can't calibrate it. So you have to do it in three packs, basically. Um, and what the opto isolator does, because of the series thing, uh, it reads that pack and it sends it through an opto isolator to separate these other two, and it sends it through an opto isolator to the TNC. And then the TNC's got its own opto isolator, which then sends data back to this. It was, um, I think, I did it as a trigger. So this sends, sorry, the TNC, the, the 3.5, sends data to this uh, through one of these, and then that receives the data, and then it sends the data back through there. It's basically a call function, so it can call each in series, and if it doesn't receive any, any response from it, it displays it on the, on the um, LCD. So unfortunately, I can't use it because of that, because it just doesn't work like I want it to. It, it's solely because it discharges the batteries too ununiformly. Is that the word? No, I don't care. So I can't use it. Hey ho, it was worth a try. It only took about what, three weekends to actually get it working properly. Solid weekends. Probably around a about 40 or 50 hours of research and development to get it working. Uh, never mind. Never mind. I'm going to use. I'm going to be using this for different things anyway. I think this. I love this. Is controlling the lights and. Oh, that's it. Just the lights and this. Oh no! I'm going to be using this for the charger. Uh, hang on. This is my charger that I've been working on. The case, which isn't finished. Um, that LCD is going to go on there. It's going to go in there. So what will happen is it'll display the voltage, it'll display the current and also the milliamps and also the charge time. Basically everything that it used to display when it was on here, uh, but without the cell voltage it'll just give you the whole pack voltage because in actual fact what I've done, because I wired the batteries now in series, it's just one big pack, one big 18 cell pack. So that's going to display all the charge current and everything and then you plug that into the bike and jobs are good obviously I've still got to do the wires on there so there you go that's why I'm not using that I'm going to be using a BMS unfortunately I didn't want to but you know things fail I don't mind it was a learning curve it didn't work <laughs>